This next individual was also on the tape, right? Judy, I think, was uh, in, the, in the tape early in that 1963. Uh, he uh, is president of the Ireland Historical Society, folks, which has a very fine interest in uh, the sale of this book. This guy graduated back in the early 50s, played on three Spuds teams, and last Sunday he hosted a gathering of Spuds old-timers called the Holy Hoops. And, uh, of course, they were players who played in the old church that was back in the 1940s, long before this fine facility was even built. Folks, he's delighted to be here as well. Would you please welcome Delbert? He's, most re he's more uh, famously known as Junie Hemsel. Junie, come on up here. Thank you, Mike. Did everybody, anybody introduce Mike Blake? That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Who are you? Well, he'll, that'll come later, I guess. But there's always history in every event. And welcome to Ireland, Indiana, the home of the Spuds. I'm uh, president of the Historical Society. In our walls, we have over a thousand pictures. Among them uh, are, we recovered most of the Spud's photos. And we have over a thousand pictures, as I said, on display. We have a miniature vintage building over there that uh, Mike Schmidt put together. Uh, and notably, we have 1846 doctor's case. And the reason I was saying that, that we will have the building open after all this if somebody wants a place to mingle and see what we have. It's at the corner of James and Walnut, just cross Highway 56, take the second street left. It's uh, James and Walnut. And uh, I was talking about history and, and in reading the book, I noticed the uh, Alden Harker, as soon as the Spuds won the sectional, he had the banner made that went across the highway. Well, he didn't know he'd be taking it down the next week. And he added regional, sectional and regional champions. Um, also, you know, every team has a little history. Back in 1915, they played outside. And the high school was built, they played upstairs for a few years. And uh, they played upstairs for 27 years, in fact. And then, uh, like Mike said, uh, 41, they bought the Presbyterian Church that was across the road. That congregation moved to Jasper. And it wasn't until 42, 43, they started playing basketball in there and there were several incidents that happened there. And in 1948, they tore it down, but the steel didn't come in for this building. So they played their home games at Otwell and Jasper. The steel came in and on November the 7th, the Spuds played their first game in here, and uh, as well as the 1963 Spuds did, and all the Spuds thereafter. But uh, after that, I uh, also do want to mention something that I didn't, wasn't really aware of. I'm going to put a plug in here for Dell's book. Dell Harris has got his book back there also, On Point, and it's good reading. Uh, I'm going to close this real quickly. Um, back in the, before they played in this gymnasium, it was black and white uniforms. And the school colors got changed to green and white, and forever was green and white. The home of the 1963 Spuds, as we're in it right now, the Spuds played here through the 70 season, 20 years. Then Ireland became consolidated with Jasper. The school corporation was called Greater Jasper because of the move. But as the history books will say it, you know, the name was Greater Jasper, but the history books will say that Ireland was a little town that made Jasper greater. <laughs> Well said, Junie. <laughs> Junie Hemsel. Junie, thank you.